DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Mom some news, baby. Today we got 95 mods in testing. All those 23 were released today. Giants are already teasing the next DLC. And we've got eight modders to talk about, including the update to Stone Valley. Jump right in. Starting off today with the testing list. We've got a total of 95 mods on the list today, up from 42 that we had yesterday. Of those 95, 80 are in stage one and 15 of them are in stage two. Some notable mods in stage one of testing are the 53 foot drive van, horse plate, oh yeah, and an update to the Fiat Agri 18090. Also in testing, we have livestock production, the F350 back in testing, oh yeah, and an update to the Mac AR frame pack, which actually came out today, but we're going to talk about this a little later in the video. We've also got some big mods in testing, like the Massey 3000 pack, Roadrunner Plus, and of course, the Zero Turn Mowat pack, oh yeah, the Mower is coming back. Of all the maps that I see in stage one, we've got Adelshoven, Borneath, Bromac, we also have Lapacho Farm, Lost Valley, Piney Run, Stone Valley 22, we're also going to talk about that later lost corner and wilhelmina 22 i think that's all of them as far as console testing today we've got 82 studios 20 foot gooseneck trailer pack class scorpion 1030 and the massey ilm series maps and console testing include bloomfield canada and shire farm with all that being said we still have 95 mod city waiting to be tested down from 151 yesterday also i think this is the least amount of testing we've ever had waiting 95 less than 100 oh nice and uh, oh yeah the current average waiting time newly submitted mods is down to two work days that's friday no wait monday monday it's monday in addition to the mods and testing 23 new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod hub for all platforms we had 12 new three updates and for pc and mac we had five new and three updates i've already made a video showing these off you you can find that video linked to the first pinned comment. And moving on, Giant Software are heading to Gamescom. To, I mean, we figured they would be. August 24th through the 28th this year, Gamescom is back in person with something very interesting happening at the event. New content for FarmSim 22. They say stop by their booths to get some goodies and play the brand new content for Farming Simulator 22 that has yet to be revealed. This could be either pack three, which is said to help get things done more efficiently, or maybe even the first game expansion, which will include all new map and a plethora of machines. Either way, we could hear about whatever it is soon, even though we just got the Kubota DLC two days ago. With pack three being released in summer 2022, we aren't really that far away from that at this point. Do you think it's going to be one of these two or maybe something else just for reference they've dropped big information at gamescom every year for the past who knows how many years last year being the big reveal of fs22 two years ago it was the alpine dlc for fs19 three years ago it was the Kloss dlc back in 2018 it was the first big look at fs19 in 2017 we had the estancia lapacho platinum edition for fs17 and in 26 do i need to go on at this point you guys get the hint gamescom is a big time for farming simulator and whatever it is it's good to be epic. Just a heads up for those of you asking why the Kubota clothing is showing up in the extra content section of your mod hub. This is here so that when you're playing in multiplayer, you could still use the Kubota clothing without needing to have it activated. However, in order to use this clothing, you still need to own the DLC. You cannot get the clothing separately at this time. We do have some more information from Giants today as they've released updates, well, yesterday rather, to the Giants Editor 9 version 9.0.3 and the FS22 Icon Generator version 1.0.4. These are both tools to help modders get their creations into the game. If you're a modder or you just like to modify things on your own for FS22 like I do, make sure that you update these. They can be found on the Giants Developer Network website. We've got quite a bit of map news today, so let's start right off with Lancey Boy in Stone Valley 22, whose update is actually in testing right now. All issues that have been found and reported were fixed, including alfalfa. There's lots of other changes as well, and some new decorations. With all these things that have been done to the map since version 1, that means you will need a new game save. But trust me when I say it's going to be worth it. Also, I know some of you have been asking when Let's Plays are returning. Well, I will be doing at least a short series here with Stone Valley while I'm going to Europe in two weeks. Starting off with a small farm and classic equipment and going from there. We'll see what happens. The first episode should drop on Thursday, July 14th, which is two weeks from today. So be ready. We've also got a hint at Welker Farms for Mapper's Paradise. Nothing big, but they do say that since the Giants editor has been updated, they can get back to work on the map. The last thing that we heard about was about 10 days ago when we received the PDA. At that point, they had said that a lot of things still needed to be done, including store images to be remade, and they needed to redo the dealership. But they're working on all that right now, so 
That's all we know. Oxygen David has posted some pictures of his next map, Court Farms, over on his Facebook. However, these are the same pics that we talked about over the weekend last weekend. They've just been now published on his public page instead of his private page. What we do know today is what is left to do on the map, at least part of it anyway. Oxy says he's still got over 100 buildings to create, in addition to everything else that's already on the map in these screenshots. That's just insane, but good work does take time. He says that he's aiming for a near year release. Now, I'm not sure if this means a year from now or a year from when he first announced the map, which we're actually getting very close to. If I had to guess, I would say probably a year from now. 100 buildings are going to take some time, and he's got a lot of other stuff to do as well, including testing, which takes a long time. But who knows? I'll keep you guys updated once we get more info. Keeping the map news going, next up is Bullet Bill with some more progress on his UK project. Still don't have a name for it, by the way. Since we last talked about this back at the beginning of June, he's altered the terrain quite a bit, and he did this because he wanted more height different across the map as a whole. So still keeping it feeling more open and free, and now we've got some hills as well. Another thing he's trying to do is take a little bit more time off and actually enjoy the work that he's already done. As you know, doing the same thing for hours on end does take a bit out of you. Heck, I even get a little burned out during the day myself. I call it brain fry, but Little Bill seems to be handling it very well. Just taking a few steps back to admire what you've already made or made makes things easier and that's what he's done for us today looking good bb all right our last map on the dock today is the next project from connect modding which still has no name just like bullet bill's map but they continue to tease coffee on this the quote from this screenshot is the co-op accepts different products mainly coffee now I'm going to go off on a limb here, so put your temple out and stay with me. We all know that they're going to be bringing back Jatco into Farming Simulator, and Jatco is a very popular coffee harvester. So does Case IH and quite a few other companies. So what do you think about not only a new map with a new crop, but maybe in this new brand we'll be getting a new type of machine as well? For clarification, the only thing that we know for sure here is that Connect Modding has a new map and they're teasing coffee and that they will have Jatco back into the game eventually. But it's all starting to add up. What do you think? Iconic is updating his Kubota equipment pack with something that should help those of you wanting to mow with the Kubota M8 from the DLC. The update is going to lower the power requirement of the rear butterfly mower so that the 200 horsepower M8 can handle both of them a little bit better. The update seems to be working fine on my end and Iconic says that he's going to be sending it in for an update soon for testing for all platforms. The mowers work just fine on flat ground as they are right now, but taking them uphill maybe isn't so much fun. This should be changed soon though. If you haven't downloaded the Kubota equipment pack yet, definitely check it out. It's not just Kubota rebranded stuff, but you can take any piece from the pack and de-brand it. No logos or icons on anything. And you just change all the parts, whatever color you want. This is a little bit of an unknown fact, I think, and a bit overlooked as well. You can make the equipment just whatever you want. You want John Deere colors? You got it. Case IH? You got it. Purple and pink? You got it. Go wild and customize your own however you like. Also Fest is getting closer with his Lizard MB series as he did a long stream yesterday on Facebook testing the machine, showing customization and more. This was a truck that we did have in Farming Simulator 19 and it's making its return better than ever. If you're interested in this machine, check out the link below. And lastly today, Agritron Modding has shared what their next mod will be, the Mac King of the Forest Pack. This mod pack features all of the base game Mac models with different wheel setups and a new crane out the back. There's an interesting thing that I noted while working on this part of the video though, and maybe this is going to be just fine, but tell me what you think. We could see a change up to this mod before its eventual release on all platforms. I noticed that the new pack on the outside at least looks exactly the same as the recently released Mac AR frame pack uh, with a permanently attached log bed and actually the same logging bed that's included with a Mac AR frame pack. The only difference here is that the crane and the third rear axle. At first I thought this was just an update, but with the update that dropped today, this appears to be something else. So will this new pack go through testing and be accepted as a new mod, or is it a copy and paste of another mod that they already have out in an attempt to double dip with the same mods, or will it have to be an update to the previous mod at the very least? Well, I can't answer any of these questions personally, as only Giants can, but I can say this, no matter which one it is, we should be seeing this with new logging equipment with Max very soon. There's no reason it can't come out, as they're both their mods, they can use them however they like, just 
how the mods release is the only question here. So there's that. And here's this, the end of the video. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's gonna be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you wanna know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new that you wanna know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it, hit subscribe if you're new, join the Gohan fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. With that, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Well, mods dropped a little bit later today because I had a leak in my shower and had to get it fixed. Also, yes, I know what it sounds like. Ha ha ha.